Hi friends, it's Miss Bridget from the South Butler Community Library. And I'm not in the library today. I am outside enjoying the beautiful weather and you're just in time to help me set up my tent for our camping story time. inside my tent. I have my sleeping bags all ready. It's comfy and cozy in here. We are going to have a lot of fun with our camping story time. Have you ever been camping before? Maybe you've slept in a tent or an RV or a camper? It's one of my favorite things to do with my family. Let's start with our hello song. Hi, hello, and how are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? someone in your house. Wave to your neighbor, say hello. Wave to your neighbor, say hello. Wave to your neighbor, say hello. How are you today? Make sure you say hello to me in the comments so I know who's watching. This camping song is to the tune of I'm a Little Teapot. You can help me with emotions. I am going camping, it's time to pack my tent and my bedroll and a snack. I'll sit by the fire, it's glow so bright, then snooze in my tent till the morning light. Let's try it again, maybe a little faster this time. I am going camping, it's time to pack my tent and my bedroll and a snack. I'll sit by the fire, it's glow so bright, then snooze in my tent till the morning light. All right, let's try it again. I am going camping, it's time to pack my tent and my bedroll and a snack. I'll sit by the fire, it's glow so bright, then snooze in my tent till the morning light. There are so many fun things to do when you go camping. One of my favorite things is to make s'mores. Have you ever eaten a s'more? It's so delicious. The ingredients for a s'more are graham crackers, chocolate, and marshmallows. And you cook the marshmallow over the fire until it's nice and golden and yummy and gooey inside. And then you put it on the graham cracker, the chocolate, and then you put the marshmallow on and another graham cracker on top. And it's so delicious. So this song is about s'mores and how we make s'mores. On top of my cracker, so yummy and sweet, I'll put on some chocolate to make a good treat. Then comes the marshmallow, so sticky and soft. And then one more cracker, to top it all off. I put it together, then gently I press. If I squeeze too hard, it will make a big mess. I'm ready to eat it, this thing called a s'more. Oh my, it's so yummy. I think I'll have more. If you've never tried a s'more, you should definitely try one. They are so delicious. Our story today is Scaredy Squirrel Goes Camping. And Scaredy Squirrel is one of my favorite characters. He is so funny. This book is by Melanie Watt. 
Warning! Scaredy Squirrel insists you check your zippers before reading this book. Scaredy Squirrel never goes camping. He'd rather be comfortable inside than risk going out in the rugged wilderness. Besides, setting up camp seems like a lot of trouble. A few troublemakers Scaredy Squirrel is afraid could get too close for comfort. Skunks, mosquitoes, quicksand, the three bears, penguins, and zippers. So he finds a simple way to sit back and enjoy camping from a safe distance. He's going to watch it on television. He has the TV schedule. It says the joy of camping, the barbecue challenge, renovate your RV, surviving the wilderness, and when moose attack. Scaredy Squirrel sets up his new television, but he realizes there's a problem. He needs to plug it in. Reaching the nearest electrical outlet will require major survival skills. A few survival supplies Scaredy Squirrel needs to pack. Really long extension cord, popsicles, tomato juice, bag of cement, dictionary, pliers, instant oatmeal, and a fan. What do you think he needs all that for? Here's his wilderness outfit, netted hat to dodge bugs, penny to bring good luck, nose plug to bypass nasty odors, neckerchief to scout, water wings to stay afloat, walkie talkie to stay in contact, badge to signal peaceful intentions, camouflage jacket to blend into the great outdoors, and rubber boots to be quick and dry. The scaredy motto, a prepared camper is a happy camper. The campground mission. He has his schedule. Leave comfort zone, run through woods, keep a low profile, enter campground, locate electrical outlet, plug in extension cord, run back to home base, get comfy and watch the joy of camping. So he starts from his tree. He's going to place a walkie talkie at a the foot of the tree to stay in contact. Mosquitoes are itching to get you. Fan yourself to blow off those thirsty critters. Keep a nose out for skunks. If sprayed, overreact. Wash off the stink with gallons of tomato juice. Wherever there are coolers, penguins rule. They're as cold as ice and won't warm up to you. Toss popsicles to occupy their sharp beaks. Quicksand will bring you down. To avoid that sinking feeling, mix in cement. Campsites host a zillion zippers. If you get caught, use pliers to break loose. Wear water wings to stay above it all. Nose plugs are a must in this area. Note to self, if outlet is too high, use a dictionary as a step. The electrical outlet is here. You're not out of the woods until you get past the three bears. Their weakness? Oatmeal. Serve them a quick bowl and do not snooze. The Scaredy Pledge. Planning is everything. The Rubber Boot Camp and Fitness Training Charts. Here's his warm-up routine. Repeat 143 times. The Scaredy Promise. A fit squirrel is a safe squirrel. Obstacle course practice run. The scaredy law of the fittest. Run, but never run into trouble. The outdoor conditions. If it's sun, he's gonna go. But if it's cloudy or rainy or windy or snowy, 
he's going to wait. If there's a volcano, he's going to cancel. The scaredy rule. If all else fails, take cover and play dead. The following afternoon, right on schedule, Scaredy Squirrel proceeds toward the campground. Scaredy tugs. He pulls. He loop the loops. But suddenly, a penguin appears. This was not part of the plan. Scaredy Squirrel panics. Do you see where the penguin is? Is it a real penguin? He spins. He dashes. He bolts. He crashes. He climbs. He splashes. He takes cover and plays dead. 30 minutes later, one hour later, two hours later, he's still playing dead. Scaredy Squirrel finally gets the drift. He forgets all about the skunks, mosquitoes, quicksand, three bears, penguins, and zippers. The wilderness isn't meant to be seen from afar. It's meant to be enjoyed up close. Scaredy breathes the fresh air, savors the roasted marshmallows, gazes up at the stars, gathers pine cones, listens to songs, and gets comfortable. Early the next morning, Scaredy Squirrel plugs in his extension cord and follows it back home. This wild adventure has inspired him to approach camping differently. P.S. Some things are worth the trouble. He's toasting his marshmallows over the toaster. The end. When I go camping, I like to sit around the campfire and talk with my family and keep warm. Make some marshmallows and some s'mores. But there are other things you can do too, and that's what this song is about. It's to the tune of, Did You Ever See a Lassie? Did you ever go a camping, a camping, a camping? Did you ever go a camping and sleep in a tent? Raise your hand if you slept in a tent before. I have. The next one is, have you ever seen a raccoon? Did you ever go a camping, a camping, a camping? Did you ever go a camping and see a raccoon? Have you seen a raccoon before? Guess what I did when I was sleeping in a tent and they were trying to get in our tent and get to our food. They lifted the zipper up and we had to shoo them away before they got to our food. Next is take a hike in the woods. Have you ever taken a hike in the woods? Did you ever go a camping, a camping, a camping? Did you ever go a camping and hike in the woods? I've gone for hikes before. Raise your hand if you've gone for a hike before. Have you gone for a walk in the woods? And next we're going to do fish in a boat. Have you ever gone fishing in a boat before? Did you ever go a camping, a camping, a camping? Did you ever go a camping and fish in a boat? Raise your hand if you fished in a boat before. I've been in a boat, but I've never fished from a boat. But maybe you have. And last, we're going to sing Sit by a Campfire. Did you ever go a camping, a camping, a camping? Did you ever go a camping and have a campfire? Raise your hand if you've sat by a campfire before. I have. It's lots of fun. Today we are going to be making an origami tent. The materials you'll need are construction paper, crayons or markers, and scissors. Let's get started. First, we need to make our paper into a square. 
Take the bottom corner and fold it up to meet the other edge. Cut off the extra paper on the side to form your paper into a square. Fold your paper in half and then in half again. Open it back up so you have a rectangle. Fold each corner down to meet in the middle. Then fold back each corner to make your tent flaps. Then you can decorate your tent or draw a picture of yourself inside. Here's my tent with me inside. Now let's make a camping scene. I set my tent on some green paper for grass. Then I cut out a little pond from blue construction paper. Go for a walk outside and collect materials from nature. I found some flowers, some grass, rocks, and sticks, and I'm going to use them to decorate my campsite. Time to make my campfire. I'm going to take these small stones and put them in a circle. Then break some sticks and make a fire inside. My camping scene is complete. If you make one, why don't you show me a picture of it in the comments? I'd love to see how yours turned out. How about we do zoom, zoom, zoom. Make sure to rub your hands together for the zoom, zoom part, and then climb your fingers aboard the rocket ship. And at the end, we'll count down and you can say blast off and jump up as high as you can, okay? Zoom, zoom, zoom. Let's do it again. Zoom, zoom.
I had a lot of fun today with our camping story time. I hope you enjoyed it too. Let's sing our goodbye song. It's time to say goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. We had fun at story time. It's time to say goodbye. I'll see you next week. I'll see you all next week. I'll see you all next week. We had fun at story time. I'll see you I'll see you next week for our story time all about birthdays. It's going to be a fun one. See you then, everyone. Bye.